Karimnagar, a bustling town in Telangana region of Andhra Pradesh, derived its name from Syed Karimuddin, a Khiladar of the erstwhile Nizam of Hyderabad state. With a long-drawn history, Karimnagar has been a key center for Vedic learning since ancient times. Karimnagar is also the home for silver filigree art, a very delicate form of metal craft. Ornamentation has been instinctive to human nature since the growth of civilization. Human beings used a variety of items to enhance the beauty of their dwelling place. Women too became inquisitive to wear ornaments for enhancing their beauty. Metals, among other things, occupied a predominant position for decoration purposes, with gold and silver being given the topmost importance. Several excavations from archaeological sites all over the world testifies the same. Indian culture gave a high prominence to use of silverware on special occasions. As such, among the most acclaimed artworks produced in gold and silver, distinction was bestowed to silver filigree works since ancient times. Silver filigree work is a style unique in itself. It's a special branch of jewellery, work of delicate nature, made with twisted metal threads, usually of silver. Fine pliable threads of metal are curled, twisted and plated. Then united at their points of contact with each other. In filigree work, twisted silver wire is the primary material and the articles have the trellis-like appearance of jali, which endows them with a rare accreditation. The silversmith crimps thin strips of fine silver into zigzag patterns and loops around the thicker silver strips with a gauge varying from 1.5 mm to 0.15 mm thickness. These strips from the framework of the main object. Because of their unique zigzag knitting pattern, they seem like exquisite lace work with fine silver. A silver filigree article is thus a combination of different parts pieced together. The space within the frame is filled with the main ribs of the design, whose motives are derived from stems, leaves, creepers, birds and animals. In the ancient times, the wandering workmen were given gold which was beaten to convert into the shape of a wire after some processes of heating. They used to make designs that came to their mind without following any particular pattern. They used some very finely created grains of beads and spines of gold that were as thin as hair to create jewelry items. This was the early work of filigree craft. The filigree craft was advanced to its highest perfection, both in design and form by the Greeks 
and Etruscans from the 6th to the 3rd century before Christ. Later, cross-cultural influence led the craft reach the shores of the Indian subcontinent where it has been further refined, adopting designs peculiar to the regional needs. The silver filigree work in India encompasses various steps that are required to give the items a perfect grandeur with creativity and appreciable designs. The art of filigree craft in gold and silver is popular all over India. Some of the famous centers of the silver filigree works in India include Karimnagar in Andhra Pradesh, Katak in Odisha, Srinagar in Kashmir, Tiruchirappal in Tamil Nadu, Agartala in Tripura, Kota in Rajasthan, and Tiruvananthapuram in Kerala. Of all, Andhra Pradesh in South India has the distinction of promoting varied and prominent categories of traditional arts and handicrafts of all the regions spread across the state. Karimnagar silver filigree art is one such traditional craft that was promoted by the government of Andhra Pradesh. Venditika Panianedi, Dadapu, Renduanda Samasral Nunchi, Ante Ma, Tata Mutala, Kalam Nunchi, Chestuna Twenty, Paniandi, in the Matada Garu, Matrata, Ma, Nanagaru, Atharata, Menguda, Kandinuga, Ide, Panjasunamu, Upper Nunchi, Padaraki, Indulopata, Chala, Marpulu, Santarinch Podam Jarindi. Silver filigree craft was introduced by a widely traveled expert goldsmith Kadarla Ramaya, a native of Yalagandala, who learnt and mastered this new jewellery technique and style. Yalagandala, now known as Iligandal, is located 10 kilometers away from Karimnagar. Eligandal has once been held the capital of Telangana region by the Kakatiyas, Bahamanis, Qutub Shahis, Mughals and Asavjahis. A mosque built by Zafaru Daula in 1754 AD on the Eligandal fort on a hilltop has minarets which oscillate when shaken. The filigree craft adopted by Eligandal in the 19th century was later shifted to Karimnagar town. Since then, Karimnagar has been the traditional center of the silver filigree work. The craftsmen behind the silver filigree work in Andhra Pradesh produce elaborate high quality designs in intricate lace-like network with remarkable traceries. It's a tribute to artistic elegance and a prized possession of marvelous workmanship. The silver filigree products range from standard form of jewellery 
to non-jewelry decorative items. It's a very delicate form of metal art. Silver filigree craft lodges, Chala Takwa items on day. Apaches Navablan, Nachina, Pandan Lena, Pandidan Lena, Itardan, Trace Alanti, only minimum Oka, four five items Matrimin Nursine. Atharvata Chita, generation change in a code, Ipat generation lodges, Ipat Samaninja items only. Ipat Memoto Samanch, Charimner Lena, different, different guy to E. Field Tower, E. I. Tech City, Chala items of varieties Chala Vachae. This craft was traditionally adopted as livelihood by many families over several generations since the 19th century. However, Karimnagar filigree design is a very complicated and intricate one that reflects highly refined skills. The making of silver wire is in itself a fascinating process. Pure silver ingots are put through a wire drawing machine to produce very fine, hair thin silver wires. In olden days, the silver was beaten on an anvil and elongated into a long wire by passing it through a steel plate with apertures of 36 wire gauges. Even today, the thin wires are still flattened and twisted by adopting the centuries-old techniques. Two of the thinnest wires are heated and wound around a charka and flattened again. అయితే మనకి బోర్డర్ లైన్స్ అంటే థిక్ లైన్స్ వచ్చేసి మనం ఫస్ట్ ఫ్రేమింగ్ చేస్తామండి ఈ ఫ్రేమింగ్ అంతా కూడా జామెంట్రికల్లీ మనకి చాలా పర్ఫెక్ట్ గా మెజర్మెంట్స్ తీసుకొని చేయాల్సి ఉంటుంది ఇది దీని కొంచెం జామెంట్రికల్ ప్లానింగ్ అవసరం ఉంటుంది ఆ ప్లానింగ్ అయిపోయిన తర్వాత దీంట్లో ఈ పైన ఇలా మెరిసేటువంటి చుట్టల చుట్టలుగా ఉన్న రౌండ్స్ ఉన్నాయి కదండి అందులో మనకి ఈ డిజైన్స్ వేసుకోవడం కూడా ఒక మంచి అంటే ఆర్ట్ కి సంబంధించినండి అది కంపల్సరీ దాని ఎటువంటి షేకింగ్స్ లేకుండా కచ్చితంగా దీనికి ఒక ప్లానింగ్ లాగా అంటే ఇది ఎక్కడి నుంచి ఎక్కడి దాకా వస్తుందో దీని అంతా కూడా సెట్ చేసుకోవాల్సి వస్తుంది These are then twisted together and cramped into a zigzag patterns around the ribs of the basic design through expert soldering. The thin film sheets and wires 
are first joined together and then assembled together to form a silver article. The motifs are drawn from the flora and fauna and geometric patterns. These exquisite ornaments and jewellery are prepared by highly skilled labour. Soldering chase a puddle, Okusari, the soldering air puddle, slow than the widening of Chesi, Conchamo, the Ubodamo, Egripodam, Atlanti, Pramada, Gudamuntai, the one you would have character choose coni, compulsory than a welding jess calls of Sundi. There are three basic patterns in silver filigree work flowers and leaves, Meenakari, and Kulajal. Pratyoka Pisu, Kota Pisu, Tayar Jedam Lopata, Chala Srema and the Osram the Kanda Kota Master of Peace of Create Jal and Ankunapuru, Dani Sammaninchi Anni Koltalgani Avigani Chala perfect these calls of the Andalo failures would have Chala Jaruta and the failure Jarina Mali Memadani, Mali Kargin Chadamu, Milty Sedamu, Mali Dani, Mali Tar Jedamu, Atlantic process wala chala time these codamu, oka piece and oka unique manchi piece tar kaudanki. The highest and purest quality of silver is used in this entirely handmade craft work wherein leaves, flowers, trees, animals and birds predominantly find place. Welding I put in the end of the day, finishing and start out. Finishing is a stage slow. And the Madimadillo wage is Kundu, then Mali and the filing and the file to the rock Kundu, finishing, getting a finishing each Kundu, Mali than a sulfuric acid low yadamu, then Mali brushing yadamu, Mali wage yadamu, at Loka five six times the wash yes the Gani, the Mali Mali. Manakinta white ga finishing radu, Ochintravada, Dinki Mali and the Manam Sedges Koni, correctly using a final item with the Ajasaman. When people see this amazing piece of artwork, they would finally get awestruck. Usually, this art, which is seldom found in other areas of Andhra Pradesh and Odisha, involves superior quality of master craftsmanship. The weight of these silver filigree items usually ranges from a few grams to some kilograms. These items are admired for their beauty and high ornamentation. Post-independent India 
saw a decline in the patronization for this craft. Despite this setback, the craftsman continued his art as a legacy, handing it down to the generations because of the wide patronage it received earlier from the affluent class as well as middle class families. ఈ వెండి తీగ పని అనేది పురాతన కాలంలో అంటే నవాబుల కాలంలో నవాబులు ఎక్కువగా యూజ్ చేసేవాళ్ళు వాళ్ళ మెప్పు ఎంతో మెప్పు పొందింది ఆ తర్వాత ఇప్పుడు వచ్చేసి కూడా మేము స్టేట్ గవర్నమెంట్లో అంటే సీఎం గిఫ్ట్స్ కానీ గవర్నర్ గిఫ్ట్స్ కానీ అండి ఇప్పుడు కంటిన్యూగా సప్లై చేస్తున్నాము దిస్ క్రాఫ్ట్ ఇస్ పర్స్యూడ్ బై ది ఆర్టిజన్స్ సిన్స్ ఇట్ హస్ బికమ్ ద సోర్స్ ఆఫ్ లైవ్లీహుడ్ However, hard times came upon this craft with the escalating prices of silver. The contemporary political, socio-economic problems and growing unrest because of regular droughts and famines also added to the difficulties. These circumstances had a spiraling effect on the silver filigree items which acquired more of a luxurious nature making them beyond the reach of common man indulo chusinataithe idi mottham transparent ga untundandi ante atu nunchi mana kanipistha undadu endukante total ga idi teegal toti chesinatvatti work indulo endante some lakhs of pieces ande ante inta minute chinna chinna pieces anni kuda indulo engraving chesi cheyadam jarugutundi అంటే దీని ఫినిషింగ్ కూడా చూడండి ఎంత స్మూత్ ఫినిషింగ్ వచ్చింది ఇది చేతితోటే చేసిందంటే నమ్మశక్యం కాకుండా ఉంటుంది ఖచ్చితంగా ఇది ఏదో సమ్ అంటే మిషనరీ యూజ్ చేసినట్టుగా అనిపిస్తుంది కానీ ఇది మొత్తము టోటల్గా చేతితోటి చేసినటువంటి పని అండి ఇది ప్రజెంట్లీ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫిలిగ్రీ క్రాఫ్ట్స్ మెన్ are living in a hand to mouth existence despite implementing various policies by the government to uplift their living standards though various government agencies are trying to revive this dying art there is an imminent need to put up efforts in a more proactive manner this can be done by promoting this craft by offering incentives to the silver filigree artisans and also by creating adequate outlets in government and private emporiums. Prasthita parasthita lela unne ante kalakar la dagara వెండి లేకపోవడం అంటే వెండి రేట్ అనేది చాలా ఎక్కువగా పెరిగిపోవడం వల్ల వెండి మేము పెట్టుబడి పెట్టుకోలేనటువంటి పరిస్థితులు ఉండడం వల్ల కొంచెం క్రాఫ్ట్ను ముందుకు తీసుకెళ్ళడం లోపల అంటే పెట్టుబడి ప్రాబ్లం రావడం వల్ల క్రాఫ్ట్ను ముందుకు తీసుకోలేకపోతున్నాము మాకు కనుక పెట్టుబడి ఉన్నట్టయితే మాకు అన్ని రకాలుగా అంటే మాకు డిజైనింగ్ పరంగా కూడా మేము మా ఓన్గా క్రియేట్ చేసుకోగలుగుతున్నాము మార్కెట్ అయినా కూడా మొత్తము తిరిగి మేము ఎంత శ్రమపడైనా కూడా క్రియేట్ చేసుకోగలుగుతున్నాము ప్లస్ మీ ఆర్టికల్స్ తయారు చేయించడం అంటే కొత్త క్రాఫ్ట్స్మెన్స్ తయారు చేసుకోవడం అవన్నీ చేయగలుగుతున్నాం కానీ మాకు ఫైనాన్షియల్ సపోర్ట్ అనేది కొంచెం అవసరం ఉంది Karimnagar filigree work created through the silver filigree of Karimnagar Handicraft Society or SIFCA has found its well deserved pedestal in terms of artistic excellence through the mementos that were presented to George Bush the then president of the United States of America and Bill Gates of Microsoft fame
దీనికి అప్పుడు ఏవైతే మనము టూల్స్ అంటే పనిముట్లు యూజ్ చేసామో ఇప్పటికీ అవే ట్రెడిషనల్ పనిముట్లనే కంపల్సరీగా యూజ్ చేయాల్సిన పరిస్థితి ఉంది ఎందుకంటే ఇది ప్యూర్లీ హ్యాండీక్రాఫ్ట్స్ అండి ఇందులో మిషనరీ ఇప్పటి వరకు కూడా ఎటువంటి టెక్నాలజీ యూజ్ చేయడానికి రావడం లేదు ఎందుకంటే ఇది హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ ప్రతి ఒక్క ఐటమ్ యూనిక్గా ఉండడము ప్రతి ఒక్కటి కూడా మనం చేత్తోనే కంపల్సరీగా చేసుకొని రావడం వల్ల ఇందులో ఎటువంటి పవర్ టూల్ అనేది యూజ్ చేయలేకుండా ఉంది the items created by the craftsmen received great appreciation for their artistic excellence the silver filigree lo padam emo 500 rupees nunchi modulukoni ante common people kone range nunchi kuda modulukoni chaala pedda pedda pieces cheyadam jarigindi oka 25 kilo la charminar pedda 50 kilo la taj mahal atlanti pedda pedda items kuda cheyadam jarigindi this recognition should not be limited to a one time event and needs to be translated into the revival of the art by popularizing it globally lest we would lose the dexterous fingers that create this exquisite jewel work which is one of the only three geographical indications registered art in Andhra Pradesh ఎంత కష్టమైనప్పటి కూడా ఇంకా చాలా ముందుకు తీసుకువెళ్ళడం జరుగుతుంది ఇప్పటికి ఒక వంద మంది కళాకారులను తయారు చేసాము ఇంకా కూడా అంటే కరీంనగర్లో ఇంకా వెయ్యి మంది కళాకారులను తయారు చేసి మేము ఎక్స్పోర్ట్కు కూడా వెళ్ళి దీన్ని ఇంకా ప్రపంచవ్యాప్తంగా ఖండ ఖండాంధ్రాలుగా వ్యాప్తి చెందే విధంగా మేము కృషి చేయడానికి ట్రై చేస్తున్నామండి No more glitter in silver filigree work, say the artisans of Karimnagar. The ancient art form of making beautiful artifacts with silver matter, which is more limited to Karimnagar district, is on the verge of extinction. The work needs much effort and concentration given the present demand of the market.